He, without a doubt, loves Ariel more than anything and would do anything for her. Ryan is her perfect match, grounding you with his calming presence. The day you asked me for permission to marry her was the day I finally stopped worrying about who would look after her when I no longer could. As the years went on, I enjoyed watching Ariel truly find her passion in her voice. You see, she has always had an innate desire to help others. It's no surprise that she has now become a lawyer, advocating for those who may not have a voice. She's so passionate about the work she does, and it's easy to see she is doing what she was meant to do. I may be 10 years older, but I consistently find myself learning from Ariel and inspiring to be a bit more like her. When you raise children, you often wonder if you're doing things right. When I look at how well you and your two older sisters turned out the terrific guys that they married and the four children they are raising. I think every minute and every second has been worth it. I'm going to put this on your wrist as Zeta did to me. And I want you to wear this and I want you to have a life of love and a beautiful life with Ariel as I have with your mom. May you only have half the love we've had and you'll be fantastic and I know you'll have more. This should fit you perfectly because we measured it and it does and it's so gorgeous. I love you so much. So proud of you, so immensely proud of you. Of everything about you, everything you stand for, the person you are and the husband you need. was to uh, a frat party that I was in <laughs> and I was DJing the party and somehow at the end of the night I was getting in my car to drive home and two girls uh, were in my trunk. <laughs> One of the girls was Ariel and it was with her roommate Jillian um, but we never really met before then and I didn't really know how that ended up happening. <laughs> One of his friends was like, come on, come on, let's, we're all gonna go hang out somewhere. We all just like piled in this car. I had no idea, like, it, he was the one driving it, or I didn't meet him till actually meet him. So that, that rest of that evening, we didn't really interact. I'm sure you would all agree, the Statler is an exceptionally beautiful and historical venue for this wedding ceremony and reception. It holds a very special place in our lives. Marianne and I were married here in this exact room over 45 years ago. And I was just like, this guy is so amazing. Like, I love, I love being with him. He's so easy to talk to. Yeah, we came back to New York City and we were walking down the street just so like happy from this weekend of um, meditation and, and nature and being out, you know, in a quiet place out of the city. So we come back to the city, we're walking down the street, holding hands, smiling, <laughs> and there's a, a man in a wheelchair sitting on the corner, may or may not be drunk. Um, but he looks at us and he looked at me in the eyes and he says, give her the ring. It was like this, mo it was like very intense. He like he's like, like staring at us. Ring. He's like, give her the ring. <laughs> we were like, and we were, we laughed about it. Like we walked, we walked past him <laughs> and we were laughing. But at that time was probably the first time that I started thinking about, oh, maybe he has a point there. <laughs> <laughs> 
These four words you need to remember. Love, friendship, tolerance, and communication. These are all easy to say, but can be hard to do. <laughs> marriage is not easy, but it's also not impossible. What you put into your marriage is generally what you get back from it. Every married person will tell you they have their ups and downs. There's no magic secret to how to have a happy, successful marriage. The key is to work together as a loving team. I met Arielle in my dorm room uh, freshman year. She lived in my dorm uh, and she had an energy that, you know, was, we had an instant connection. You just had to be around it. Uh, she was an Ann Arbor girl the day she arrived at school. I'll never forget, Ryan asked Arielle to a date party my sophomore year. Um, and I ran into Arielle in the library. I went in to study and Arielle was, was sitting there all nervous. Uh, and she said, you know, your brother asked me to date party. I don't, wanna, I don't know if I wanna go. Freaking out, I said, come on, you're going. It's not like you're getting married to him or anything. <laughs> <laughs> And look where we are now. Now as Ariel begins a new life, and there will be another person who she'll turn to for love and protection, I want her to know that her father will always be there for her. She's my youngest, and she will always be daddy's little girl. Ryan knew, and he came to me, he said, I think this is the girl. I said, dude, that's Ariel Wisbom. You got no chance. Literally, you have no chance. <laughs> Wow. And it's amazing because that day that he said she was the one, he, he really knew and she really was. Like they are literally, you guys are so perfect for each other. Dr. Man said, this is it. And what he means is, this is the only place we need to be, right here and right now. So the glass is full now. It will be broken representing the end of the glass. It also represents not the end of your lives as single people, it represents a transition that you're making, but consciously, a choice that you made when you, come, when you came under this chutah, conscious choice to couple with someone else, because that coupling will make the self that you already are even greater and brighter. So the moment the glass breaks and the two of you come together in a kiss is the moment you are coupled together with a conscious awareness, the intended choice that you have made. So we are thrilled and honored to be here with you together, our beloved teacher. And, and I'm so thrilled to say that the state of New York gave me a certain power to pronounce you as husband and wife. And that will happen once you break this glass, which you can do right now at this moment. Mazel tov. Lighting up the room with your glowing energy, style, and grace. Moments and memories.
memories are created with the time you have. And time is finding. <laughs>